So congratulations to Essie. She recently announced that she has moved back to Houston. Now, if you guys didn't know, Armand is living in Houston now as well. So it's good to see that Legacy can be closer to her dad. But now let's move on to this next topic with CJ So Cool's mom, Michelle, and Royalty's mom. So yesterday I reported that CJ's mom went on to YouTube and stated that Jalea and Royalty's mom wanted to put hands on her. Oh, okay, good. I'm at 57. Okay. Uh, first I wanna, you know, I don't like talking about them people uh, uh, from the other side because I know it causes nothing but problems, but they always on me anyway, so what the hell. Um, it was brought to my attention that a kid wants to jump on me and her grandma. So now people wanted to know exactly what Jalea said about CJ's mom. Now this is a screenshot that his mom posted on her community tab. And as you can see, Jalea is in the comment section and she states, Mama Kool-Aid can line it up too. Now, if you guys didn't know, they call CJ the Kool-Aid man. So Mama Kool-Aid would be Miss Michelle, CJ's mom. So then after this was posted, Royalty's mom went on to Instagram and stated, what's funny, Relapse Revy? I ain't never spoke on you before. J-Dub said anything. You've been talking about her and her siblings and my daughter. You throw stones, then hide your hands. This has nothing to do with you. Mind your business. So then CJ's mom comes back in response with, excuse me, Miss Tacky Tanya. You need to leave my name out of your mouth, old lady, LMAO. It has not been forgotten about you having your mouth on my son's Johnson after it has been all in your daughter's street walker blank. LMAO. And by the way, I haven't relapsed whatsoever, old lady. So then she says, shaking my head, tacky Tanya, go get a freaking new wig. Cause that one you keep wearing looks like it's been infested with all them damn roaches you got in that nasty ass two bedroom, overly crowded apartment. Then she states, I may not have been in my children's life, but one thing for sure, they took after their mother because they all got their own cribs and they're not sleeping on anybody's roach infested floors. So then Royalty's mom came back and responded with, you thought you ate with that lie. What mom would talk about her son's private area? I think it's time the coworker you're having an affair with wife needs to know she needs to go to the clinic and get tested. You have a blank you can't cure. You nasty Carlos, go get checked. Then she states, y'all mad cause CJ and royalty and the children came up together and he never did ish for you. That's what all of this is about. The hate for my family. CJ told the net you did drugs and was an unfit Revy. Go help Dixie, your mom and children that need it. Instead of sitting on the internet, running your mouth, we good over and always will be. Then she reposted a comment that stated, we seen that lady apartment, it's nice. It's nowhere near roach infested. And how you know they crowded in a two bedroom apartment. Is that what your narcissistic son said? Out of hurt to boost his ego and you ran with it? Let's not forget this woman you're talking down on was the same woman that your son was looking up to as a mother figure. So then Royalty's mom reposted all of this and stated, Thank you. So then CJ's mom comes back and responds with you weak as that tilted to the side, matted in the back, faded colored wig that has been worn since my son met y'all dusty aids in the club. And Charlene just mad that my son left her on the same floor that he found her on. Then she states baby mama number two needs to go get that nasty A bump checked out on her chin cause it might be blank. I'm just saying. So now the drama has spilled over to the families. So anyways, you guys leave your opinions on this down in the comment section below. I seen a lot of people were upset with what Jalea stated there. They were saying that she need to stay in a child's place, but you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Myself, today on my community wall, and um, I'm finding out some things that said about me okay and like I always say I'm only human and I'm not just gonna keep shut my mouth up to certain things um that that was hilarious I know <laughs> you know I got a silly side too you know what I mean 
So I can be, get silly just like the rest of them um, when I choose to. It was all in fun for me. You know what I mean? But, um, hey, Lost with Jerry. Tape on e. Oh, Hold on, I must have missed some more people, too. I don't know what's wrong with these people. She mad you told the truth about how the twins was conceived. That's, that is old news. You know what I mean? That's old news. And again, that statement was not towards my grand twins. That was solely on what she did to have them. You know what I mean? She got in his ear wanting babies by him so freaking bad. Hell, he said it is up. You know, he paid for those babies to be born, brought into this world. Yes, she used her body or whatever to do that, but look what she turned around and did. You know what I mean? So, hmm. Yeah, that's definitely old. So, they can't be talking about that. What I'm thinking is they're upset that they didn't get no money. They didn't get no money out of CJ. You see what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm feeling. So now you're going to take it out on me? What the hell I got to do with that? You know what I mean? What do I got to do with them not getting paid? Hey. Hold on. Let me read some of these comments. Thank you, Nikki. Hey, Mona. Hey, Deb Deb. Huh? Come on, Cap Live. Hit the panel. For what? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Mm-mm. That ain't happening. That is not happening. So, uh, you know what I mean? Why would I ever do that? Okay, April. I hope CJ don't have any more babies because I'm telling you that the next woman will do him the same way if things don't work out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, boy, 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 boy. I, you know, I better wrap that thing up. <laughs> Raincoat, here we come. Hey, Lady Nassar. I, I just, uh, I'm not understanding why in the world people can say what they want to say to me or about me, and then it's supposed to be okay. I, I'm just, that's not sitting too well with me. And the first time I speak up, I'm so wrong. Oh, you're childish and this, none and other. Hey, I'm a, I'm human. I'm human. That's what I am. Um, it's, uh I even heard, y'all, I got the, the, the incurable disease. Now, how in the hell I got some type of incurable disease and everybody else know about it but, but me? <laughs> what, what in the world? What in the world? I mean, what extent will they, these people go? What, what extent will these people not go to? You know what I mean? I'm like, damn. Oh, really now? Really now? So that's what's being said these days. I just heard about it a couple minutes ago before I came live. I'm like, oh. And I seen it in my uh, on my community wall in, in one of the um, comments. But I didn't wasn't quite understanding what they meant. But then I got wind of what they what they were saying that I have and I'm like wow okay that's a pretty ugly thing to say about somebody you know what I mean 